Hello. In this lecture, you will learn about the uh, C++ writing techniques and language features. Uh, so, C++ is a very flexible language when it comes to uh, formatting and writing code. So, it's also a strong type language. So, meaning that there are rules about declaring the types of variables which you can use to your advantage by making the compiler help you write better code. In the section, um, we will cover how to format C++ code uh, and rules on declaring and scoping variables. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to start with the white spaces, uh, how you can use white spaces in C++. So, uh, here, uh, other than string literals in white spaces, you have free usage of white spaces. So, you can, as long as, as many as, uh, you can use as many as uh, tabs, spaces, uh, spaces, Paces and new lines, new lines. As you can see, you you, you won't get a, you will you will not get any error <laughs> because of it. Here, as you can see, you can use as long as many as uh, new lines, tabs, and uh, spaces you want here. As you can see, let's compile it. As you can see, C plus uh, plus compiler doesn't care about them. So. So, but C++ uh, statements are delimited by semicolons here, as you can see here. But, so let's create an example code so, as, uh, to explain it better. So for example, let's create an integer variable, uh, assign it for, uh, and uh, integer equals, integer der derived by two. So we will get two from it. And um, let's printf, printf this. As you can see here, we, uh, we, get, we got an error um because in printf so we have to use the print uh, we have to use in include library uh, you will learn about how to include library and what library is in later lectures uh but uh, it's not our thing to learn but uh, you will learn in next lectures include here um std .h here as you can see we got rid of this error here return uh, let's return zero from it. Integer function, as you can see here, this function returns zero. You will learn, uh, and then here, as you can see, if we got the format, um, then uh, let's print something on it. Uh, so as you can see, if you if we delete this, uh, include statement, uh, this uh, we will get an error here, as you can see here, and uh, yeah. Let's uh, include our statement here and delete uh, this common line, clear. And yeah, so let's print these values on it. Actually, let's uh, let's use uh, the C out. We will use uh, we will uh, we will use the printf later in this uh, course. So as you can see, we got an error from it. Let me write this code. Uh, the result result is uh, we will pass e. As you can see, we will pass e, uh, and then end line here. End line. So as you can see, we got an error. Uh, so as you, if, if you include the eo stream, you, you will get rid of that error. Uh, that's because the std library needs input uh, out of the stream uh, here. So, uh, and as you can see, if uh, we deleted the printf function, so we are not using printf function anymore, uh, we don't need this library. And as you can see here, C lion uh, IDE, this blue, just the gray, uh, gray color, this text for it. And then uh, here, as you can see here, we have an, a new line here, uh, every between every line, and let's run and compile our program, and we got a uh, result here. The result is two. So let's try one example here. Just delete these new lines here. Just delete the new, these new lines, uh, and let's try if this works here the, or this here. Oops, uh, we need uh, these two semicolons. 
and we do these two so you can put a spaces on new lines between variable names or functions or whatever you want here and you can use uh, here as you can see we got the same uh, result so there are some cases white spaces is needed for example when declaring a variable you must have a white space between the type and the variable name uh, so, but the convention is to be judicious as possible to make the code readable. And while it's a perfectly correct language-wise to put all the statements in one line, like a JavaScript, but uh, it makes the code almost completely unreadable. So, of course, it's uh, less unreadable than the previous uh, previous codes here, as you can see here. Let me here. <laughs> this is more readable, right? So, actually, it's um let's correct let's uh, note this because i'm uh, up uploading these files uh, to uh, every lectures and uh, you can download and use these codes uh, by letter so uh, for example correct by language wise but readable and readable and readable and let's call uh, let's uh, write another code here uh, for example let's you know, so as you can uh, as you know we can cr um, create two variables at the same name so i'm going to change these names here uh, so of course you can uh, cr <laughs> print uh, the e as long as you want but you you just can create the same name uh, same name variable same named variable so as you can see here uh, this is uh, here here this is uh, correct correct by language wise or let's uh, just write a program will uh, compile without problem but unreadable so i will explain why we need this uh, readable and unreadable codes uh, here now so be in mind that if the code write uh, code you write is viable uh, it may use it may in use for decades uh, which means you may have to come back to code years after you've written it and it means that other people will support your code too so making your code readable is not only courtesy to other developers but readable code is always uh, likely a target for replacement here as uh, you can see here of course it's uh, more readable than this uh, so in this lecture in next lecture you will learn about the formatting the code in C++. So see you in the next lecture.